Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, very nice. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, so I, uh, I was in Seattle recently. And if you ever go to Sa Seattle, they have uh, Mount Rainier is uh, about an hour away. It's the third biggest mountain in America. It's a good one to go to. I don't know who number one or number two is, but maybe one day it will be number one, you know? Uh, do mountains keep growing? I don't know. That's stuff that I don't know. But it's a good time to see it. It doesn't have the attitude of a one or a two. So I was with a buddy, and we rented a car. He's driving. On the way out there, I see a dead horse. I mean, just laid out in someone's yard. And I've never seen that before. And I was like, man, I bet you don't think about that when you buy a horse. Like it dying, like you don't fast forward that far. You know, that's a huge thing, dying in your yard. That's the weight of a horse, you know? I mean, you can't just scoot it off into the woods with your foot and be like, let's try to get another one before the kids come home. You have to, you have to tell your wife to keep the kids away for a month. You gotta Google how to move a dead horse. You gotta possibly get another horse to help you do it. And that's, uh, that's not gonna be easy, you know? I think that's what the blinders are for, because it's like, just look ahead. Don't worry about what's going on back here. <laughs> or you gotta, get, or you gotta get your friends to help you do it, and you can't spill the beans too quick on that. You know, you think it's hard to get them to help you move a couch, try a dead horse. <laughs> I mean, you gotta lie to them. You gotta just be like, we're getting a divorce. We hate each other, just come over, bring your truck, though. And... <laughs> And when they pull in there, uh, let me tell you, they're gonna see it. All right, everybody saw it. It was next to the road. So they're gonna pull into that driveway and be like, Phew, man, I don't think they're gonna divorce at all. <laughs> I think we're here to move that dead horse is what I think. And I, I say, let's let him bring it up, make him ask, but I will be shocked if we don't touch that dead horse today. <laughs> <laughs> and look, if you, ever, if you ever have to move a dead horse, uh, I've clearly thought about it. <laughs> and you want to be, be the first one to the horse. You don't want someone else to tell you where to grab a dead horse. So you just run out there like you love it, like it's the third one you've done that day. And get to the hoofs and go ahead and start lifting and be like, you guys get where you guys got to get, some guys down there, and let's just get it over with. So, at this point, uh, we're basically at Mount Rainier. And... That was the whole car ride was that conversation. So, if, if, you've, never, if you've never been to Mount Rainier, just a heads up, it's, uh, you got to pay to go up it. It's not a free mountain. Someone owns it. And... It's all uphill. It's a nightmare. So, <laughs> we, we get up and we park, and then we're like walking up this trail, and I'm going up it, I mean, I can barely breathe. And this couple's coming down, and I like stopped them. I was like, hey, is this like enough, like where we're at? Like, you know, is this like, you get it? Like, we're not trying to live on this mountain. So, <laughs> is this like good, you know? And, the lady goes, I'm 75 years old, and I did it. And I was like, maybe that's why you didn't hear the question that I asked, because... <laughs> I mean, everybody's pretty cocky on the way down, you know? Like, there was women with babies. They had three-month-old babies strapped to their chest. I was like, why would you bring that much extra weight with you? I left my wallet in the car. I mean, they looked exhausted. I'm surprised they're not just babies left up there and rangers have to come down. Whose baby is this? It's like, that's ours. We're going to let it grow up and come down on its own. It was a huge mistake bringing that baby today. So we get, we get our picture and we come back down. So now we're driving back. And uh, since my buddy was driving, he did, not, he did not see the dead horse the first time, you know? And I was like, well, you gotta see it, dude. You can't not see it. You know, that's all I've talked about. So, <laughs> we, we get to the house. I kind of remembered where it was. And we get to the house, and I was like, it's right here. And I pointed, and the horse was standing up, doing <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, it was one of the healthier horses that I've ever seen. And 
I, uh, and then I realized, you know what? I guess I've never seen a horse sleep either. So thank you guys so much.